On December 3, 2018, the United Nations General Assembly adopted with consensus a resolution proclaiming 24 January as International Day of Education in celebration of the role of education for peace and development. The adoption of the resolution, co-authored by Nigeria and 58 other member states, demonstrated the unwavering political will to support transformative actions for inclusive, equitable and quality education for all. The theme this year is focused on examining the many ways learning can empower people, protect the planet, build in shared prosperity and foster peace. Plus TV Africa therefore spoke to some Nigerians on the importance of education. But joining me live in the studio to take a look at this situation this morning is Victoria Tando, an educationist. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, Victoria. Now, in your own assessment, what is the state of primary education in Nigeria? Um, primary education in Nigeria is in dire states right now. Um, we need to wake up. About 10.5 million children are really out of school. Yeah. And that is a high number. I think that's the highest in the world. So we need to start, do something, yeah. All right, and then the, the guiding principle of education is actually equipping citizens with such knowledge, skills, and, and attitudes and values as to lead a fulfilling life and contribute also to the social society. Do you think this is the case in Nigeria with the high rates of unemployable graduates in Nigeria? Yeah. Um, in Nigeria, we have a high number of unemployable graduates. Most of them just go to school, learn the bit, the theory bit, then. The, practical skills that are really out of it. I think the government needs to set up a lot of vocational schools, technical schools, to help them, you know, life skills yeah. that would help them enhance whatever they've learned in school. All right. Now, we seem to have a major disparity between the schools in the urban areas and the rural areas, the schools um, controlled by the government and the schools owned by, controlled by private um, investors. Mm. Now, how do we begin to address this disparity what can be done about it? Um, I think basically most schools, basically the government needs to um, bring in a lot of funding into schools, rural, urban, whichever. And uh, the disparity can be merged if, you know, a lot of things like technology is brought in, uh, learning aids and all of that brought yeah. in, yeah. Now, in, in comparison to UNESCO's um, recommendation for, for budget, uh, budgetary allocation to education, yeah. would you say it's impressive with the kind of um, the budgetary allocation education has gone so far in Nigeria? Um, UNESCO had recommended 26% right. as the benchmark, you know, uh, even though they denied it. Some, some. Nigeria still hasn't even reached that. We are like 7% of our uh, budget is allocated to education, which I think is really very low. Okay. In repositioning the ed educational sector, what, what would you recommend the federal government to do? More funding, infrastructure, learning aids, vocational schools, removal of malpractices, exam malpractices, overcrowding in schools should be stopped, and um, you know, even the national policy and the curriculum should be looked into. Okay. Yeah. All right. Victoria, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us on News thank on the you. Hour. Thank you very much.